Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video we're going to have a look at something new to DaVinci Resolve and that is presets. Presets, especially the EQ presets that are now available finally in DaVinci Resolve 18 inside of the Fairlight tab. We are, I don't talk a lot about Fairlight, but in this video I'm going to show you the new presets and how they work and also some pretty cool things you can do. Just remember, if you have a good pair of headsets, that's going to help you out a lot when you actually hear this. And also I did do a video about a pretty good headset, so you can have a look at that up in the top corner right here. Okay, without further ado, let's go into the video. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get right to having a look at the new presets that are now available in DaVinci Resolve 18. To make this work, we need to go into Fairlight right here. And it's pretty simple actually. So I have a clip right here. And if I want to add anything on, I can just click the EQ. And if I go up here where we have the default, and then I can change the default to some different settings. For instance, a dialog clean at high end, dialog female lav mixer, which is if you have a lav. Uh, also, we have a male lav fixer, also a dialog male and a telephone effect and something that can boost up the music master, which is kind of cool. So in just one second, I'm going to show you some different clips uh, shot on different setups so you can hear what the different preset actually does. But before that, there is also one new thing in here. Um, so I have here a um, tongue twister I use, just a voiceover. So for instance, I'll go into the EQ. And for instance, let's say that uh, my EQ here, I don't like any of the presets and I want to make my own. So what I usually do, I'll make a preset because I know this microphone and uh, it has a preset like this more or less, something like that. And then I usually use the Q factor to find the parts I don't like. So. I think that's around here. Just need to go back here. And then, you know, I'm trying to find the here. There's something I don't like. I'm going to take that out. And I'm going to do the same here on band four. So around here, I usually would say that that would be where I'm going to take down the gain a little bit. So now we have this. So this is the preset I usually use on uh, this particular microphone. So the cool thing about this thing is uh, now I can actually just push the plus icon right here. Would you like to create a new preset? Yes, I want to create a new preset. Um, let's call this Rode Mic. And I'm just going to do like that. And now this preset is saved and I can go down every time I actually make or use this microphone and use this preset. This is, has become way easier to do than in previous versions of DaVinci Resolve. It was a hustle to do this, um, but now it's super easy. So that's also a new thing in DaVinci Resolve. Also to keep in mind that all of the new presets are also available on the Dynamics. So if we double click Dynamics, uh, go to the default, we have some different compression options, which might as well be pretty handy when you're using this to make your dialogue sound better. So let's jump to the part of this video where we listen to the different clips I did, and um, hopefully you'll find that the new EQ presets are quite useful. Let's go to the video. So for the first clip, we are testing out how the sound is when shooting on the camera's built-in microphone. I am shooting on the Blackmagic Pocket 6K camera, and this is how it sounds. I'll sh show you how it actually sounds with the EQ off, which is this right now. And now I'm going to add in the EQ presets, and you can see either down on the top below what kind of preset I am using. And also you can see how the preset looks right up here in the corner. So this is how it sounds with the presets on. 
and now we're going to shift into another setup. So for this setup, we're still testing DaVinci Resolve's preset in the EQ, but this time we are using, again, the Blackmagic Pockets in my camera 4K, but this time it's a shotgun microphone just out of frame, and uh, it's in the XLR input in the camera, and this is how that sounds with no EQ applied whatsoever. However, if we do change the EQ in, you can see what I'm doing down below or in the top, and that is how this sound with the different presets in the camera shooting it this way. I can give you a little tongue twister if you like. Fussy Wussy was a bear, Fussy Wussy had no hair, so Fussy wasn't Fussy, now was he? So for this test, we are testing out the Lavalier mic. This is the Rode Wireless Go, and we're just testing that. Again, this is into the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, shooting directly, and again, of course, if you look down below, there will be written what kind of preset I am using, and also you can see how it looks up in the top. So this is how that sounds with um, the different presets. Again, I can do a little tongue twister if that's going to help you out so you can hear the difference. Fussy Wussy was a bear. Fussy Wussy had no hair, so Fussy wasn't Fussy, now Wussy. I hope you can hear the difference. And of course you could combine those two together, the EQ presets and the dynamic presets, so you can have a all-around better sounding sound. So I do hope you found this little video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.